I don't know how that works exactly. Same thing with, uh, like, Mickey Mouse. No, Mickey Mouse wears pants. I'm thinking of Donald Duck. Right? Wait a minute. Why does Mickey wear pants, but Donald doesn't? What's Mickey trying to hide? That, that's crazy. I, I guess you do have to have, you know, big dick energy to run Disney. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. Now, as many of you guys know, I usually like to wait for some kind of special event to pop up to make an interesting episode around, and for today's episode, we have the Crazed Lizard. I think this is one of the last crazed cats that I need to get, and Dragon Cat is one of the best cats in the game. So I'm super excited to give this a try, but also incredibly wary because I have no idea what I'm going up against. All of these crazed cats are very strong, but also very different. And because of that, I have no idea what to bring. I have a bunch of meat shields and some spammable mid-range cats and the big damage dealers. But for all I know, this could be all wrong. This is really only one way to find out. The first attempt is usually going to be a failure. We just need to feel things out, so I'm not going to waste any consumables. I am going to question what's going on with the name of this level. Mammals? Like, I would imagine that it's probably not- well, I mean, technically it is half cat, right? Dragon, cat, lizard, cat. So it is probably half mammal, maybe? I shouldn't be concerned as to what comes out of this thing's backside, whether it be egg or child. I should be a lot more concerned with how it's gonna- whoop my butt. Uh... Okay, we have a lot of moths, which are neither lizard nor mammal, but still in my way. That is a thick stack of enemies. Oh, there we go. Okay, we killed one, so let's get Bahamut up and running now. I was gonna say, these guys are kind of giving me a problem when I'm not even facing off against the main problem who probably just came out. All three of them? Great, great, it's like that. Okay, could you guys take one big step back? Thank you very much. We're just gonna start moving forwards. Like I said, you don't know what to expect. I don't think I like it this way. I like it when there's one of them. Like with Crazed Cat and Crazed Wall, it was just one really strong, like, 3 million HP cat that you would wail on. I don't like facing dozens of them. They just don't feel special. Speaking of special, Bahamut, could you maybe stop being so freaking special? You're just... you're dead. You're just dead. You're not actually doing anything. I don't think he hit them once. That's a problem. That's a real big problem, and I also have my other Ubers just bouncing around. What is wrong with these guys? Hit them, please. There you go, Black Cat. You're, you're dead, too. <laughs> I get the feeling that's how this is going to go for quite a while. Their range is just absurd. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't even think Passalan can actually hit them. Not actually moving forward, he just keeps getting bounced back. Doesn't die, but at the same time, I really need you to take a swing. They have such ridiculous range. It's like a shockwave, but not quite. It's just a little shockwave fireball. Maybe you could hit these otters and get me a little bit of money? That There we go. That's what I like to see. <laughs> it's something. We can get our king dragons out there. Maybe our dragons can outrange their lizards, not quite dragons. Like, they aren't that big of a problem. They're not pushing forward. But we aren't either, which is kind of the problem. <laughs> I get the feeling this is gonna go to time. We're gonna be here for like 15 minutes. Maybe there's a really small possibility that I can save up enough for Bahamut and he'll actually do something this time. I, I, that might have been a waste. If he didn't do anything last time, he's probably not gonna do anything this time, but I, I can hope. <laughs> I don't think Black Hat is gonna do much better. She got one hit off and then exploded, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? I'm just gonna keep meat shielding. Just spam meat shields. Like, Passline's doing a great job, okay? It wipes out everything except for the dragons. He can't get close enough to hit the freaking dragons, and neither can you! What if I hit them with that? And just delay- mm, nope, nope, extra nope. Okay, so that's never gonna work. See, if I had known things were gonna go this way, I probably would have brought some super long-range cats, like Sniper Cat or... Techno cat? I don't know, whatever nerd evolved into, because at least they would be doing any kind of damage. Right now my cats walk up, some of them get to do one attack before they die. Most don't. But we are pushing them back, oddly enough. Right, they're definitely further back than they were when we began. It might just be the cat cannon. <laughs> that would be a pretty cheesy strategy, but I'd be fine with it. We could just keep pushing them back using the cat cannon over and over again, it works for me. 
And about 15 minutes later, we're being told that we are too slow. Lovely. Ironically enough, the only unit that can really reach for a single attack is Dragon Cat. Everybody else, except for the meat shields, just kind of run in and die, as far as I can tell. Maybe I can Parzicat Cannon and get a kill? New? I, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for the bears because I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> Either show me assassin bears or sit down, little sign man, because I'm not done here. They haven't moved forward an inch. I, I just, I can't kill them. <laughs> I don't think I can really do damage to them. Come on, there you go, you see? He, he breathes a little bit of fire, then he gets pushed back. The dragon's gonna move forward again. Come on, dragon, just just do a little, little spit, little spit. Ah, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I've been here forever. I have been at this for over 45 minutes, and I can hold them no problem, but I just can't hit them. I can only hit them like once every little while, so I have no idea what health they're at, and if they're low, I'm gonna lose my mind. It doesn't even say! I've changed my loadout to bring my longest range damage dealers, and we're bringing Rich Cat, and we're bringing Sniper Cat, and I'm just gonna have to pray because, like, I, I don't know, at least now I know that I'll be doing damage. There's, there's no doubt that I will be doing consistent damage, hoping to do a whole lot of damage, but last time I just had no idea if I was actually hitting them or not. I was just kind of peck at them a little bit, and it's just, I, I could have been there for hours, honestly, I have no idea. I would imagine that Valkyrie is not gonna be lucky enough to manage to freeze them, but you can always hope, and I had an extra loadout spot. We have a whole lot of money this time, which is just lovely. And, oh, she actually did it, she did it. <gasps> and Bahamut hit one of them. That is, Bahamut hit another one. Oh my God, Bahamut, you're doing it. Oh, uh, why didn't I bring you last time? Farsi Cat Cannon, interrupt them and hit them again. I have already done a hundred times more damage than I did last time. <laughs> It's dead! I knew it was gonna die, but it was so worth it. Oh my god, this is perfect. Right now we just wait, we save up for another Bahamut, we save up for another Cyberpunk, just hang out. Uh, trust me, I've been doing lots of hanging out, I can definitely do that. We have so many snipers. I have the ones that I can summon, and then I have the consumable, and it's pushing everything back quite a bit. And Bahamut is ready again. Okay, so you're gonna go and hopefully not hit a alligator. Really, really didn't want you to hit the alligator. I need to clear the way for him every time because he has to get all of those attacks on the dragons. Oh, double, that's a double. Okay, another one. Bahamut, Bahamut, you're a legend. You're, oh. He pushed him back all the way behind the base. I can hit the base. I can hit the base. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> like, I know for you guys, it's only like, well, we're maybe like five minutes into the episode or something like that. But for me, I've been already at this for an hour. My brain is just fried. Like, my, my tongue is dry. I have no idea what I'm doing or saying anymore. I just want to beat this stupid cat. Ooh, there we go. We're hitting the base. That is exactly what I need to do. I don't care about killing the cats. I don't even care a little tiny bit about killing the cats. Just whack that tower. <laughs> Long range is in position. We got the artillery moving forward. When's Bahamut ready? Soon. Soon Bahamut will be ready. I should start saving for him now. Even though it might honestly be over before he arrives. I'm perfectly okay with that too. <laughs> Bahamut has had his fun. He's proven once again that he is the king of the dragons and the king of the cats. Mammals? I don't know. You can never be too sure. Fire as a cat cannon. Keep them back. Keep them back. Get out of here, otters. None of that. So close. So close. Come on, Bahamut. Come on, Bahamut. Come on, Bahamut. Do I use him? I think I use him. I think I gotta use him. Go, 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 go. Hit stuff. Okay. Hit the base. Just hit the base once. Just hit the base once. <gasps> Maybe one more time. Yes. Yes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I did it. And I get all my energy back and a little bit of cat food. Okay. I should probably use Craze Dragon at some point. I, I tend to not use the Craze Cats nearly as much as I should, except for the meat shields because they're amazing. But we got them. Unit acquired Craze Lizard. So the only one that I'm missing now, I believe, is Craze Titan. Which is going to be an absolute nightmare, I can only imagine. 
Well, they're definitely not cheap to upgrade, but I didn't go through all that just to not give them a try. So how about we toss in a level 13 Craze Dragon Cat, and then I think there's another event going on. Something, uh, not Never Summer. Not really sure what this is about. It doesn't have a difficulty level, which is always kind of concerning. Leak year. Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose. If I lo if I do lose, it'll be quick, and that's all that really matters. Oh, isn't this nice and beachy in summary? Hello, tiny men. Maybe I can get my dragon to spit on you. I really want to see what this guy looks like. King Crazed Dragon is going to be wicked, but I'll just take Crazed Dragon. Oh, he's got a mohawk all the way up his back. Whoa! That is way cooler than... Oh, he he's dead. Oh, okay, um, well, it was really cool, but like I said, he's only level 15. King Dragon just has that little poof, but crazed, uh, crazed bikini bear, crazed dog in sunglasses, uh, has a, a, a huge plume of fire, which looked really cool. Can you stop? Please, please just stop that. Uh, Bahamut. This looks like the kind of thing that you would be able to take care of, buddy. Come on, there we go. Okay, well, they're bouncing around, so they don't seem too hard. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, not too difficult. Just a strange enemy that I've never seen before. <laughs> Great place to try out the new cat. Lucky Ticket G. What's a Lucky Ticket G? I know of Lucky Tickets, but I don't know what G means. Lucky Capsules G, limited special chance for XP and catamins. Okay. <laughs> kind of grabs inside his little crown. That's all different. Okay, so we got catamins. So I guess these lucky tickets don't give you tiny cats. Instead, they give you random consumables. Weird. I mean, technically, I'm sure a lot of people are happy with that because nobody uses little cats, but everybody needs these. All right, you know what? Now I want to do some gotcha. I know it's going to be a waste. I keep saying not to waste these. You should use them when you have an increased chance, but screw it. I'm, I'm not too happy today. Wasted a lot of time in this video already, and I want to be a winner. This game just refuses to cut me some slack. Try again? Maybe? A little bit? I, I don't know what I could get out of this because I haven't looked at these Ubers, but I definitely don't want Thief Cat. That's for sure. This is the set with War God Yukimura, who is real good, so I would take any of the other ones, really. I'm not gonna be picky, but you you could just go ahead and, and give me Psycho Cat. Doctor, please, I'm hemorrhaging tickets. Could you, could you maybe patch the wound with an Uber? That is like the polar opposite of an Uber. That is like Antarctica of Ubers. I'm not gonna waste all my tickets, okay? I am gonna stop eventually, as soon as they give me the Uber that I want. That's a cat table. I don't care if it's super rare, it's still a cat table. Maybe I will use all my tickets, you know? Who's to tell me I can't? They're my tickets, and if they're gonna get me an Uber, then... All right, I guess I'll take a level on Nerd Cat. God, this freaking game. Well, that was kind of cool, and I think there are more levels. Okay, let's move on to Cats of Yesterday. I'm fine with hitting the beaches, relaxing, smashing my enemies. Okay, or, you know, the open plains. That works for me, too. Hello, Mr. Tower. I don't suppose you're gonna poop out some enemies for me. No, oh, okay, it's just you again. God, you are just a walking disaster. I don't think there's a category for blonde enemies. So it, I'm pretty sure it was a black unit, in which case Casagizzo brought it to town. So how about we just smack that base real quick? I would assume that's all there is to offer. Nope, there's another one. Oh, it's got some kind of weird little bikini bottom. I really didn't need to see that much of that dog's ass. Even though in reality, they don't wear any pants at all and you don't notice. As soon as you put pants on them, it gets weird. Real weird, like Lucky Ticket G weird. I don't even think I can get anything cool out of these. Like as far as I know, they're just all random garbage. Well then, go and prove me wrong, why don't you? Well, that's half a dozen more levels into our crazed dragon, and now we're gonna move on to Heat Wave Blues. 
<laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna see a whole lot of that very fancy poodle. Maybe? Are you in there, poodle? No, you're just gonna send out your tiny little men? Okay, well, I, I think we can deal with them first, but I expect to see Poodle. Maybe now we can finally get a good comparison between the two dragons? So you have the giant fireball of one and then the just little poof of another. <laughs> it's not even a comparison. Black units and angel units? Man, Casajizo is just having a field day. Is it his birthday or something? <laughs> not even gonna be a challenge. I could just spam him. He says, as they inch closer and closer towards his base, Parzy Cat Cannon. Why aren't you guys dying? Weird. Okay, maybe maybe we're okay. That's the thing with this game is they'll give you the same model for a unit, but in reality, it could be wildly different. It could be a hundred times stronger than usual. <laughs> like, I've definitely faced off against huge bosses that are, are as weak as a single snick because the snick was a hundredfold stronger. Like, the thing just kicked Bahamut in the dick and now it's dead. Why? Usually Bahamut will go to town on something like that. This is certainly concerning. Okay, well, they're not moving forward too much. I don't want to say it all because, yeah, they're, they're inching. Okay, um... Maybe I should talk less and kill more because I'm definitely getting quite a bit more concerned. Guys, come on, please. They're just angels and black units. And scantily clad slappy bears. Come on, you guys don't really care about slappy bears, do you? The cat cannon doesn't care. Again, the bear is wearing like a G-string. <laughs> you don't notice a bear without pants. But Yogi Bear doesn't wear pants, but he wears a collar. And if you put pants on him and then took him off, Things get weird. I don't know how that works exactly. Same thing with, uh, like, Mickey Mouse. No, Mickey Mouse wears pants. I'm thinking of Donald Duck. Right? Wait a minute. Why does Mickey wear pants but Donald doesn't? What's Mickey trying to hide? That, that's crazy. I, I guess you do have to have, you know, big dick energy to run Disney. <laughs> Ooh, two lucky tickets, G. If you wanted to give me another million experience, I mean, I wouldn't say no. That'd be pretty dope, actually. Uh, mm, I almost thought I had it there. 100,000? Okay. That's nothing to shake a stick at. Free 100,000 experience is pretty good for an easy level, but again, million. Go a long way to getting a King Crazed Dragon, if that's even a thing. Catamans. I have infinite Catamans because I just don't play this game enough to remember to use Gamatoto. Okay, that's fine. So, is there any more to Never Not Summer? There is. We need more energy, and we need more anti-black units, because they're starting to get a little out of hand. Strategically speaking, I should use War God Yukimura, because he's amazing, he's fast, he just wallops black enemies, but instead, I brought... Uh... You? I don't remember her name, all I know is that it's a boober, and, you know, that's where my heart lies. Okay, then, I see you've brought a friend. Well, that is gonna complicate things. Go, Boober, who's riding atop a Nimbus Cloud with a stick. I like it. Okay, maybe you can do massive damage? I don't even know what she does. I just searched black and it said her. I was like, yeah, okay, that'll do. I wouldn't mind trying her out. I also don't want to use the exact same cats every episode. That's the other thing is like, I'm making videos here, so I can't just try hard all the time. I want to show you guys cool different cats. I, I don't really do a good job of that because I only used one different cat. I should be using an entirely different loadout every episode. All these different cats and not using Cyborg and not using, uh, you know, Casajizo and stuff like that. But I don't know, like if I'm going to make progress, I need to try. And if I'm gonna show you guys new cats, then we're just gonna lose over and over again. So it's a very weird position to be in. Kind of like that slumped over chair position that that guy's gonna die in. Am I hitting this guy? Oh, oh, I am hitting this guy. Thank you for the confirmation, cats. I wasn't sure. It's kind of difficult to tell what their hitbox is. I have a whole lot of money and a whole lot of cats, but I want to make sure that I can fire the cat cannon and get Bahamut in all oh, you one little rabbit tit. Just get him, hit him, there we go. Okay, that's a good hit. As long as I can get at least a Bahamut hit, that makes a world of difference. Because Bahamut's gonna get evaporated, but... As long as he takes off, like, half his health, probably more, it gets the job done. Just that easy. Now we can uh, send in the boober to clean up. Can you please get out of the way, Cyborg? I want to take a look at the boober. <laughs> She's such a strange cat. I think it's, uh... 
Level two Uber? I don't have many true form Ubers, which is something that I really want to tackle, but I still don't know how to get cat fruit. Like, the epic cat fruit is just the rarest thing in this game. I've been playing the game for over a year. I think I've had maybe half a dozen at most. It's absurd, and you can't even really buy it, as far as I know, right? So, it's just rare for the sake of being rare. They're not even trying to milk you for your money. Okay, we got two more lucky tickets. I'm gonna open them. We're gonna see if we get something cool. Come on, ticket. I don't have a whole lot of time. My camera's got a minute and 20 seconds left. Half a million experience. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Come on. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to be recording for this long. Stupid dragon cat. Million experience wouldn't be bad. More catamans wouldn't be bad. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle. Well then, isn't this just awkward? Okay, you can blame Craze Dragon for that. We will never forgive him. But I guess I'm just going to have to say thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. And then picture me headbutting the camera.